Hello, I'm JForceG, and welcome to the fourth of my tutorial series on logic nodes in UpBGE. Today we will be learning about how we can get movement with our gamepad, or joypad, or whatever, your Xbox controller, your PlayStation controller, your uh, Game Boy controller. So let's just get into that. So what I did uh, before to come to my conclusion, and what I'm going to do for this tutorial to go through the logic with you, is go to our dashboard here on the right, and scroll down, and we're going to see node prefabs uh, for key movement. And there we go, we got four key movement. Then after that, you're gonna wanna delete the WSAD, which is the input for the keyboard. After deleting it, you're gonna wanna add a sticks node. Uh, you could also find it in the input gamepad sticks here. And then you're going to want to plug the left and right, left slash right, into the WS. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's inverted, oddly enough, like WS is supposed to be up and down, but um, it just works this way. And it's, it's mostly because um, it's subtracting the value of the axis. So we could play around with this and see what we can do, but it's mostly fine like this. I mean, we could just change the name to, I don't know, uh, up slash down. And I'll do the same for WS. Now if we press play, uh, there's still an issue, and that issue is the up and down is inverted, but the left and right isn't. So, we're going to add a invert node. There we go. And now it should work mostly okay. Uh, there is a little bit of an issue, and that is it's almost too sensitive and the threshold is off, I believe. So, yeah. So, what I did is, you know, set the sensitivity to 1 and set the threshold to, uh, what did I set it to, 10 I believe? Let's see if that works better. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit better. It still does it a little bit, where there's sort of like a weird drift, but what I did to fix that was uh, I went to the normalize thing here and I changed it to negate. Um, now this this might be a little bit confusing uh, if you're not familiar with what types of nodes these are because you might press uh, shift A and look for that node you know left slash right only to realize that it's not there and, and the reason why it's not there is because it was right click renamed uh, to left and right, which is fine, you know, it makes more sense for new newcomers. Uh, but I'm gonna quickly show you um, what these nodes are. So left and right is actually a math node with a subtract. Um, so it'll subtract the uh, value from the sticks. Um, and then this one here, build vector, is actually just a straight up vector, um, and and it doesn't. So it like it sets the vector uh, to uh, like instead of this just being a number, this is like a vector. Uh, and what a vector is is it's like uh, uh, in mathematics, it's like it has a magnitude and direction but not position. Does that make sense? Uh, so examples of this are velocity and acceleration. 
um, the normalize is actually a vector math node, which you you basically just you know you could use it to add or or uh, or, or negate, not add. Um, I, honestly, I, I'm not too sure how to use this. I'm not much of a math guy. I'm not much of a physics guy. Um, but I imagine it, it does some things. Like, I know what LERP can be used for. LERP can be used for having one object move to a position. Uh, yeah, lin linear <laughs> interpolation between the two vectors. Uh, linear. I think that's what was meant. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so... And, yeah, I, sh I changed it to negate here, or normalize. I changed it from normalize to negate, and, you know, we can just right-click, change it to negate. Um, and this is another math node that takes the value of your sticks of the axis input and multiplies that by a value. See, this speed here, if we press Control A and we look up float, that value is a float. Uh, so this node is essentially the same as this node. And what's fun is if you want to have a property, uh, on my right here I have a speed float property. And we can make if statements with um, uh, ev the evaluate node, and we can make it so if uh, sp is sprinting equal to true, then evaluate node and change speed to um, to this. So if we get property and we choose our object here, property and speed and we plug the property value into this, whatever this value is going to be will be, um, you know, more malleable because we can change our speed value by, oh, <laughs> by um, evaluate property. So we could have, you know, if, player uh, is sprinting to true, then set property to uh, get the camera there. Speed. And we're going to change it to float. Get property, uh, set property to, uh, I don't know, if, if, if is sprinting true, 30. Okay, so it is true, I just enabled it, and we're going to move now, and we're going much faster. I, I tend to remind people about, um, you know, newcomers about properties and stuff, because they're pretty important in, 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 in game devs, although in game development, but they're usually referred to as um, uh, variables instead of properties, which they are here to a degree, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, and then move object, but you could also change this to impulse or uh, add force. So yeah, this was my, uh, I believe, fourth tutorial on logic nodes. Uh, I might do one more, but for the most part, I think I'm pretty done with logic nodes in that uh, they're, they're pretty um, expensive on the engine. So, just to show you here, we're going to go into our first person view, I'm pressing 0 on the notepad, and I'm going to press P for play. Uh, of course, I have the debug options, which is debug properties, frame rate, uh, enab enabled. So if I press P again, uh, you'll see on the top left here that logic is taking up 17%. So I'm going to make some tutorials on how we can get by that using uh, logic bricks for physics and some logic and uh, logic nodes for things like control. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting because it's still something I'm learning myself. 
I'm just trying to find a, a sufficient uh, workflow for me. And whatever works for you is fine. You know, if you want to use logic bricks, that's great. Um, I, I like the idea, personally, of um, using both logic bricks and nodes. Because there's, you know, bricks are pretty, um, they can be limiting, depending on what you, what you want to do. Uh, and bricks, or nodes, are, are, are a lot better in, in that regard. In that there's a lot you could do with them, but they're expensive. And I'll go into a little bit why I think that is uh, in, in the uh, that tutorial series. Uh, yeah, uh, have a good one, and uh, uh, eat your vegetables or whatever.